I am Dr. M. Fatima. Today I am taking introduction of multiplexer. Multiplexer means many to one. And um, this multiplexer can be abbreviated as MUX. And it is a device that allows the information to route from several input sources onto a single line or a single uh, destination. The multiplexer consists of different data input lines and single output line and different data selector inputs. This is the function diagram of the multiplexer i0, i1 till in minus 1. These are showing the inputs. Output is denoted by z and select line is denoted by s. So different input lines are available on the input of the multiplexer and these input lines will be connected to the output line. It depends on this formula. It depends on this 2 raised to m equal to n where m is the select lines and n is the data input lines. If the value of m is equal to 1, so this will be equal to 2 raised to 1. If m is equal to 1 means select line is only 1. So, so the value of n is equal to 2 raised to 1. 2 raised to 1 is equal to 2. That is 2 input will be allowed to connect for the single select line. But if the value of m, that is select line, if it is equal to 2, that is if uh, 2 select lines are using, then n is equal to how much? 2 square. This is equal to 4. So 4 input lines can be connected on the input of the multiplexer for 2 select lines. Now, taking the 2 is to 1 multiplexer, this is the functional diagram of the 2 is to 1 multiplexer. Here, two inputs i0 and i1 are taken. This is the, this is the select line. One sele for the one select line, only two inputs are allowed to connect it and output is only one. This input is the enable input. We will talk about this input later on. Now, this is the block diagram or logic diagram of uh, 2 is to 1 multiplexer. Here you can see this is the truth table of the multiplexer. S is the select line and Z is the output. S, if the value of S is equal to 0, here it is considered that I0 is connected at the output, this one. This I0 is connected to the output. If the value of S is equal to 1, here it is considered that I1 will be going to connect to the output. So how does working see here so see the two table just wait so we have already seen here two table so see s the value of s and z z is the output s is the select line if it is zero I0 is considered to be connected if S equal to 1. I1 is considered to be connected. So see, here uh, we can write uh, the equation. So Z is equal to S dash I0. This S dash is using for 0, for the value of select line S equal to 0. If it is 0, then I can write this value S equal to S dash. And if it is 1, then I can write the value of S equal to 1. So I wrote here uh, S dash for the 0 and I0 plus next is the value of S is equal to 1. So I can write here S and I1 I want to transfer here. So this is the equation of the multiplexer and we have already seen this logic diagram for multiplexer. C 2 Two AND gates are required for these to connect. This is S dash and I0 will be connected with an AND gate. Similarly, S and I1 will be connected with an AND gate. So I'm connecting here. Let this be the value S. And now here, after the complement, this will this becomes S dash. And this and now I want to connect here I0. So see, the output of this AND gate is equal to how much? S dash I0. Now, uh, the, this this uh, this output is available here. Now, I want to make the logic diagram for this uh, output. That is S I1. So, I can connect here. This is S and I1 is also required to connect. Now, the output of this is S I1. Now, both of these will be can be connected with the help of 
an OR gate. So this is equal to Z. How much it is? S dash I naught, this one, this one, plus S I one. So in this manner, the, uh, this block 2 by 1 multiplexer where two inputs are there, I naught and I one. See, and one select line is present here as and output is Z. So inside of this box, actually this logic diagram is present. So see if, see if the value of S is equal to 0. So what is the value of Z? Z is equal to how much? If the value of the S is equal to 0, so this is the, this is the complement. So this is equal to 1. So 1 dot I naught plus this is how much s equal to 0? So 0 into i1. So how much z is equal to how much? z is equal to i0. So you can see if the value of s equal to 0, the i0 will be connected to the output. This we have already seen here. What we want that if value of s equal to 0, then i0 must be connected to the output. So you can see the i0 is connected. Now uh, see the next condition. If S is equal to 1, then Z is equal to how much? Now Z is equal to Z is equal to how much? This is uh, 1, so this becomes 0. 0 dot I naught plus this is a S value of S is equal to 1. So 1 multiplied by I1. This here, this S equal to 1. So I wrote here. And this is I1. So how much Z is equal to how much Z, Z is equal to I1. That is by giving the value of select line equal to 1. If S equal to 1, I1 will be connected to the output. So we have already seen here in this truth table. So this, this diagram, this block diagram, this is showing the this logic diagram. So two different inputs can be connected to the output line one by one. So this completes this. So you can see we have already seen for S equal to zero, I naught will be connected to the output. And if S equal to one, then I one will be connected to the output. So this completes the two is to one multiplex introduction. Thank you.